Okay, we're getting close now. We're getting close. There's just this moment. It's, I can see it. There's two bubbles. We're soon going to have a thousand bubbles. It's very exciting. So we're, what do we have so far? We know how to declare this list of numbers, integers. We didn't really look at an example that used a list of integers. And maybe that's a bit of a mistake, and I'll try to fit that in again somewhere. But you know, think about that. How might you do that? Um, but what I want to move straight to is saying, let's apply this thinking to these bubbles. And instead of having separate bubble object variables, let's have a single list of bubble objects. So if we look at this syntax, the first thing we have is the type of the array. Now we're going to have a type bubble, the object bubble. We need to make sure it's going to be an array. Great. We need to give our array a name. Let's call it bubbles. The wire is a good job. I was just thinking of the wire because the name bubbles. But you didn't really need to know about that. I, just, I think there should be some magic way where I could just like edit out unnecessary thoughts. OK. Um, and then we need to say, how many bubbles are we going to have in our array? We're going to have two. We're not getting very ambitious here. We're getting, this is very, very basic, simple. We're going to have just two. Um, I also, by the way, noticed that I, there's this little monitor that I look at, which is slightly above the camera. I feel like I'm always looking above the camera. But if I look this way, I'm looking right at the camera, right at you. OK, so let's try to apply this um, here. So what's going on? Look, bubble, let's close this. Bubble B1, bubble B2. First of all, you know, we really should have done this just to get us in that frame of reference of thinking of counting from 0. For the rest of your life, you should just count from 0 from now on. Always start at 0. OK, uh, so what I want to do is instead of having two separate variables, I want to have an array called bubbles. It's going to be of type bubble. It's got the brackets, which means it's an array. The name is bubbles, and it has two bubbles in it. You know, it's a lot of bubble everywhere, but you know, <laughs> this is what's happening to us right now. So we can get rid of this. Now, instead of initializing a single bubble, we can now refer to the bubbles by their index value. We can say, bubbles index 0, make a new bubble. Bubbles index 1, make a new bubble. So it's like we had two separate variables, but both of those variables exist as spots in a list. You can imagine this list with two spots in it, and there's one bubble here and another bubble there. Um, OK, so what do we do now? We need to take this idea and say, bubble 0 ascend, bubble 0 display, bubble 0 top, bubbles 1 ascend, bubbles 1 display, bubbles 1 top. There we go. We have the identical program, just what we had before. OK, so you know what? I'm, just, I'm, I'm going with this. I'm experimenting with shorter videos. This has only been like two, two and a half minutes. But let's actually stop here. So this is a good, obviously, this is a huge problem, right? We have we've kind of done nothing to, to get towards our goal of having 1,000 bubbles. Right? Yes, we put it in a list, but we still have individual lines of code for each bubble. We have to say bubble 0, d d all the functions, bubbles 1, all the functions. And then if we had 1,000, 2, and 3, and 4, all the way up to 999. So we're on the way there, but we're missing an important step. And that, that important step is going to be using a loop. And that's what we're going to do in the next video. But let's take a moment to pause here. And what I would say to you as an exercise is go find something where you had an object and try to make an array of those objects. Try to make multiple objects, but use the array. Don't just and, and refer to which object by its index value. And you can do interesting things, like um, I could say, if I wanted to, that this second one shouldn't bother to ascend, only the first one. And you can see that the second one now doesn't have that function called on it, so it's just laying there at the bottom. So um, that's what I would say to you. Um, make it, um, take, something, take your object that you made, make an array of them, and try to uh, see how that works.